Japan has long been synonymous with cutting-edge rail travel. From the legendary Shinkansen that redefined speed and efficiency back in 1964, the country's latest ambition was to leap even further into the future with the Chua Shinkansen, a revolutionary maglev, magnetic levitation, train. Promising to whisk passengers from Tokyo to Nagoya in just 40 minutes at speeds of up to 500 km per hour, 311 miles per hour, this project was set to become the crown jewel of Japanese innovation. However, today this $64 billion dream finds itself mired in delays, cost overruns, and environmental controversies. Imagine a transportation system that leaves behind the era of steel wheels and traditional tracks in favor of a technology that allows the train to literally float above its path. This innovative approach harnesses the power of superconducting magnets arranged along both the train and its dedicated guideway, creating a magnetic cushion that lifts the vehicle and propels it forward with astonishing efficiency. By eliminating direct contact with the track, the system virtually eradicates the friction that plagues conventional rail travel, leading to a ride that is not only exceptionally smooth and quiet but also gentler on the infrastructure, potentially extending its lifespan significantly. A pivotal demonstration of this cutting-edge technology came in 2015, when Japan's experimental maglev prototype smashed previous speed limits by reaching a remarkable 603 km per hour, 375 miles per hour. This achievement captured the world's imagination, offering a glimpse into a future where intercity travel could be radically transformed, shrinking distances and redefining connectivity between major urban centers. However, despite the promise of this breakthrough innovation, transforming the concept into a fully operational network has proven to be an arduous journey. The original schedule targeted a launch in 2027, but a series of complex challenges have forced planners to reconsider the timeline. Now, expectations have shifted toward a debut possibly in the early 2030s or even later. The delay is not merely a matter of technological hurdles, it reflects deep-seated issues ranging from engineering complexities and environmental concerns to financial overruns and logistical setbacks. Each of these factors has contributed to slowing progress on what was once envisioned as the next giant leap in rail transportation. One of the most contentious obstacles centers on Shizuoka Prefecture. The maglev route necessitates the construction of a 25-kilometer tunnel beneath the southern Japanese Alps, a geological marvel in itself. But this tunnel must pass under regions critical for water supply. Shizuoka, a region that relies heavily on the Ue River for both drinking water and agriculture, has raised serious alarms. Experts warn that the tunnel could divert an estimated 1.3 million tons of groundwater annually away from the river, potentially triggering water shortages and disrupting local ecosystems. Local officials, led by Shizuoka's governor, have firmly resisted any progress until a foolproof plan is presented to mitigate these environmental risks. The resulting impasse has left JR Central, the company behind the project, unable to proceed without local consent. At the same time, the project's financial blueprint has been steadily unraveling. Initially estimated at around $52 billion, escalating costs have pushed the price tag to at least $64 billion, and the figure continues to rise. Several factors have contributed to these mounting expenses. The complexity of tunneling through mountainous terrain, the impact of inflation on materials like steel and concrete, and the necessity for enhanced safety features, especially in a country where earthquake resistance is non-negotiable, all play their part. In an era where global supply chains are constantly under strain, the project's budget has become a moving target, creating growing concern among both investors and government officials. Adding to the mix are the lingering effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. Construction across the globe experienced severe disruptions, and Japan was no exception. The Maglev project was hit hard by supply chain interruptions and labor shortages, compounding existing challenges. Even as the world begins to recover, Japan faces a critical scarcity of skilled workers in the construction sector. These delays have not only pushed back the timeline but also further strained the project's already ballooning budget. Beyond the technical and financial hurdles, the Maglev project now finds itself at a crossroads with Japan's global standing in transportation innovation. 
While Japan was once considered the uncontested leader in high-speed rail, other countries, especially China, are forging ahead with their own next-generation systems. China, for instance, is developing maglev technology that could reach speeds up to 620 km per hour, 385 miles per hour. The possibility that Japan might fall behind in this technological race has only intensified the debate over whether the colossal investment will ever pay off. The broader implications of these delays are profound. For one, the anticipated benefits of the maglev system, shorter travel times, reduced environmental impact compared to air travel, and a boost to regional economic development, remain tantalizing yet uncertain. If the project continues to stumble, it risks not only squandering billions of dollars but also eroding public confidence in large-scale infrastructure initiatives. Moreover, there is the potential for significant economic fallout. The maglev was expected to generate jobs and stimulate technological advancements that could have positive ripple effects throughout Japan's economy. Instead, ongoing delays and budget overruns might lead to reallocated investments and missed opportunities in other critical sectors. Amid these challenges, JR Central remains in negotiations with local government officials, particularly in Shizuoka. The company has put forward proposals designed to address environmental concerns, such as innovative water management systems aimed at preserving the region's delicate hydrological balance. However, local scientists and community leaders remain skeptical, demanding rigorous evidence that these measures will be effective. The impasse illustrates a broader tension between Japan's drive for technological progress and the need to safeguard its natural resources and local communities. As the debate continues, many experts question whether the Maglev project represents a prudent investment or a technological gamble fraught with too many uncertainties. The delays cast a long shadow over what was once heralded as the future of rail travel, a future where high-speed, efficient, and environmentally friendly transport would revolutionize how people move between major cities. With the timeline pushed back significantly, one wonders if the world's leading economies will still see Japan as a pioneer in this field or if they will turn to alternatives offered by emerging competitors. In the end, the story of Japan's maglev project is a complex interplay of ambition, innovation, and real-world challenges. It underscores the difficulties inherent in pushing the boundaries of what is possible, especially when modern infrastructure must contend with natural, economic, and political forces. As we watch the unfolding drama, one thing is clear, the path to the future is rarely straightforward, and even the most advanced technologies can stumble when they collide with the realities of nature and society. What do you think? Can Japan overcome these hurdles and deliver the next generation of high-speed travel, or will the maglev remain a tantalizing yet unrealized dream? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world of technology and innovation.